Hey folks, it's James here with Johnson RV in Puyallup, Washington. We're going to take a few moments to talk about the 2008 Pledge Away Lexar RL4. So real quick, we're going to look at, we had the full body paint, a few vinyl graphics to give it a shapely design. We're going to be in the Chevy engine, 6 liter, with about 323 horsepower. We're on the driver's side right now. We're going to open up this piece for outside storage. We have the bullet latch, of course, to keep it up and propped. That way we're hands-free, easy enough. Right next to that, we have our gray and black water. We're kind of where the business is done. Both are indicated. And working with to the back unit, we have our water heater, which is both gas and electric. And this compartment right here, again with that bullet latch. And that's going to have our cable connection, power hookup, sewer hose, and water fill. <clears throat> On the very back of the unit, we do have a 4,000 pound hitch towards the rear. Of course, we have our spare tire. And if we open this up, both doors, of course, will open. All right. We have all our tools we would need for the awning to be extended down. And right here above the hitch, open that up, that's the fill for our propane tank. So if you're going to go to a gas station, you can just pull up to the back or back up to it. It's easy access to get to. <clears throat> so now we're going to be on the passenger side, moving forward. We have our outlets here for like an outside stereo TV. Above we have the optional box awning. Uh, this piece right here, you hook into the lat latch and you extend it out manually, pull it and you have two stakes that can either go inside the coach here <clears throat> to help stabilize or you can go just straight down, say it's a windy day. We have access to our fridge right here. Flip this guy up. And then we have our batteries and these are on a tray to actually extend out. You notice we have two batteries. And now we're going to head in the interior, and this is give you a good shot of the layout of this. With the RL4, <clears throat> its big claim to fame is the seating for it. Great for going wine tasting or just a quick trip over to the ocean. Four seats, going to be leather. In the back of the headrest, too, on the passenger and driver front seats, we have those DVD styles. So you have a little monitor so you can watch movies going down the road. Now, even though we're only 20 feet in length, what we do have is going to be all the gas appliances you'd expect in a typical RV, a Class C, Class A, or even the bigger ones. We have the onboard generator that uses the same gas as the engine. And this is kind of the command center. So as soon as we walk in on the passenger side, we only have 49 hours on the generator. Our monitor panel right here we can read easy. Water heater, our safety equipments, and of course, with all our light switch. <clears throat> they put a recessed version of the sink as well as the oven, that burner stove right here. That way when we're not using it, we have additional counter space. And it's real nice and stainless. This is that hard surface Corian. And the cabinetry I'm sure will be a big thing. Look, just because we're looking for storage in here. So we had a frost glass initially. All the hardware and the cabinets have a lock system. So when they shut, you hear that click. That means it's not going to move anything going down the road or shuffle too much in transit. Now we are fully self-contained as far as water and whatnot. I want to show you the bathroom area. This is the aisle shower. So we have the option to put a drain piece right here, which is behind the seat. We pull this curtain all the way around. We have our shower. Put it right here. We can take our shower or the toilet. Close this piece real quick. Now I'm going to step away so you can get a good shot of the rear U-shaped lounge in the back. <clears throat> now that would just be a seating where we have our table and can relax. Uh, we also have the option of putting that all together and making a nice bed where two people can sleep comfortably. The two front seats you saw, as far as with the driver's seats and the ones in the center, can actually fold together and are rearranged where you have additional sleeping. I'll give you a good shot of the cabinetry, the roof mat AC, and the front cab. But these seats right here can be laid back where we have one long piece of, on both sides to make two additional sleeping spaces. So we have the U-shape in the rear as well as this guy and this guy is a bed. And these two lean together and make a bed as well. It's a well-maintained coach in great condition. We um, only have 10,000 miles. Feel free to give us a call if you have any questions on it or if you like the video. Uh, phone number here is 253-286-0833. Thanks and have a good day.